Hey guys, welcome back to Base Lake. As you can tell, I'm going on a trip. Packing my stuff up to go on this trip. Um, I kinda volunteered for overtime and they definitely gave it to me. So, it's gonna be a long, long trip. Um, so, Basically, I'm going to tell you guys how I got into aviation and why I got into aviation and just uh, give you guys a rundown of how it all went and what you guys could expect. So basically, my father, he is originally from Spain. So when my brother and I were younger, we used to always travel during the summertime when we were out of school. And I just remember going to the airport, walking through the terminals, and just seeing all those huge airplanes outside and just... In general, seeing all the passengers and then the flight attendants and the pilots, it's just like this surreal thing. And just for some reason, it really has resonated that like, that's what I wanted to do. I want to be a pilot. That looks so cool. So fast forward, graduated high school. And the whole time, I knew I wanted to be a pilot. But it's kind of like those, kind of like being like a professional athlete or being like an actor. You kind of, at least I myself, I categorized it into this like only dreams or you know, if you're like super special, you could do it. I never realized that how easy it truly was. So after uh, high school, um, I knew that's what I wanted to do, but nobody in my family were pilots. So basically, started applying to uh, colleges and I was getting all kinds of letters back. But it's kind of hard for me to figure out which one would be the best option for me. And I couldn't really ask my parents because they really didn't know neither. So I kind of put it on the back burner and all of a sudden my mom came home and she's like, hey, have you looked into this school? And I was like, no. She's like, check out this school and let me know what you think. I had a friend, my mom's friend's son's friend went to school there as a, for, to be a pilot and he loved it. And I was like, cool, I'll try it. Looked at it, it looked like a normal aviation school. Um, set up a tour, it was like five hours from my parents' house and we drove down there the following month, did a tour. And I was like, yeah. Let's do it. So I was like 18 or 19 at the time. And I enrolled. So the following semester I attended and I, grad and I graduated in two years with Associates of Applied Science and Aviation Technology. And I had my uh, private pilot all up to my CFI double I with my multi-engine uh, commercial. Was it easy? No. Was it fun? Definitely. Did I enjoy doing it? Definitely. Um, aviation is definitely an expensive career choice. Um, when I went to school, I paid seventy-five to eighty thousand um, dollars to from start to finish. Um, it might be more this day and age or it might be the same i'm not too exactly sure um, i haven't really been looking into that kind of stuff lately um but don't aviation is expensive in general so try not to make it worse by attending a prestigious harvard flight school um now if, if that's what you want to do and you have the money and money's not an issue and, and like I have to attend this particular flight school because like Ember Riddle, name dropping, or other expensive flight schools, cool, go ahead. But if you're already struggling and, and you want to become a pilot, don't think or don't let anybody tell you that you have to attend these Harvard flight schools to get a job in the market. Or if you got this, you graduate from this school, you would be more 
you have a better chance of getting a job. Um, personally, I don't think that's the case. Um, I did not go to any Harvard flight school. I went to like a small community college flight school and I have no problems getting jobs. Um, so don't, don't, don't think you have to go to some crazy expensive flight school to, uh, to get a job. Because at the end of the day, if you go to a mom and pop flight school or a community college flight school and your best friend down the street goes to um, Ember Riddle or other expensive flight schools, once you guys both pass your check ride, you guys are going to be holding the same exact certificate. The, um, the pilot license are the exact same. doesn't matter what school you graduate from. So don't try not to... Uh, Yeah, just don't try not to think that you have to go to the best flight school to get the job, because that's not the case. Um, we're so desperate for pilots out there today that. Um, I hope this video helped in some way, shed light on the whole uh, becoming a pilot. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure you uh, drop them down below. I will answer them um, in the next video. So, yeah. Make sure you guys subscribe, like it, and uh, see you guys in the next one. See you later.